Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, there's a request that comes back from time to time about people who want to know about the various materials. Uh, recently I had a request about someone who wanted to know how to get the materials and someone else who wanted me to show off all the materials that I have right now. So I'm going to try to do both in this video. I do have a video with each material. Uh, basically, whenever I was able to get the material on a specific character, I would make a video about it. So if you look through my video, you can find the specific videos about the void material, the cosmic material, uh, the negative speed force material, pretty much every material I have. I already made a video about them. But again, uh, someone wanted to first wanted to know how to get those materials. And also someone wanted me to show off all those materials. So we're going to do that right now. So we're, I'm starting with the gold material. I'll start with gold, silver, and uh, bronze material. Uh, the the reason for that is quite simple. These are the easiest material you can get. Basically, in order to be able to get the gold material, the silver material, or the uh, the bronze material, it's very very easy. You have to go to the marketplace, assuming it loads at some point. And here you can see the champion uh, champions material pack. That's where you can get the gold, the silver, and the uh, the bronze material. Uh, you can see it's 1,800 market cash. That's become a, uh, that's because I'm a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's going to be uh, 2,000 market cash. Uh, the same as if, uh, the same is uh, it's the same price for daybreak cash, or whatever cash uh, Xbox uh, Xbox uses. So here you can see how the how really nice the gold material looks like. Uh, I've pretty much made an armory with each material, just to be able to show off each material. But uh, usually having the the whole style with only one material is not really the best option. The better option I find is to have two or even more than two materials on the same character, or even better to have uh, some materials and some pieces that don't have the materials so that you can show quite a bit of contrast between the, either the different materials or the different pieces of gear. But for this video, I stuck with just showing the material. Also, one of the best ways to show off some of the materials is with some, uh, some styles that have a lot of, uh, of relief in them. If there's a lot of sculpted uh, of sculptures within the style, it really helps uh, some of the materials really look even better. As you can see here with our friend, uh, our sort of Hawkman character, and with the gold material. Uh, for here we see the silver material. I kind of sort of tried to reproduce the classic uh, cyborg look from the 1980s, and I, I failed uh, miserably. Uh, sadly, there's some styles that are pretty hard to try to reproduce within this universe online, and the classic cyborg costume is one of those. I would probably have to uh, I would probably have to wear a, st a style that have nothing to do with cyborg in order to be able to pull it off. But anyways, this is about as close as I was able to get. And also one of the sad things about the materials, as you can see for the headpiece, we should be seeing like uh, some uh, some red or at least some colors in the eye, the, the left eye. But sadly, uh, the material actually covers the entire pieces of gear. So there's no way like the chest piece should have like uh, some glowing effect in the, the center of the chest piece. Uh, sadly, with the, the material that covers everything, uh, it's not really an option. But here you can see how the uh, the silver material looks. And again, if you have a style that has a lot of relief, like a lot of sculpted parts in it, or sculpted, or sculpted uh, texture in it, uh, usually the materials do a good job showing, the, showing off uh, those parts. And here we have the bronze material. Uh, again, in order to be able to get a bit of contrast, I chose uh, styles that could show a bit of the character, like the, the skin of the character. Uh, but I'll probably show a few other styles that don't show as much skin uh, in just a minute. So ideally, if you want to have a bit of contrast, obviously, if you use only one material, it's not going to happen. You, you, unless you have, you can show the skin as I'm doing, you won't be able to have a lot of contrast with your uh, your material. And again, the the gold, the silver, and the bronze material, you can purchase those from the marketplace with the champion pack. I've seen a lot of people were asking for things like materials uh, to be added to the marketplace. 
And now that DC Universe Online has added the materials to the marketplace, uh, sadly, we saw what was to be expected. Uh, there were people who complained that they, they had to spend 20 bucks to get those materials. Uh, so it's usually the, the same thing. People ask for items to be added to the marketplace. And when, add, when items are added to the marketplace, then we have the very same people complaining that they actually have to purchase the items. It's a never-ending circle that sadly uh, will probably never end. And here we have the iridescent material. Uh, we were fortunate enough that uh, we got a free sample when the Deluge DLC was released. Uh, basically, we were able to get the material for free on one character. So if you were playing, uh, if you were a legendary player when uh, the Deluge episode launched, you got a free material for one of your character. Uh, sadly, if you want to have the material on more than one character, you have no choice but to purchase it from the marketplace. Again. Uh, they've, they've started to, to basically give us the option to be able to get certain uh, materials from the marketplace. Uh, I guess it's, uh, we're going to see more in the marketplace if people actually purchase those materials. But sadly, if people don't purchase those materials from the marketplace, obviously we're going to get those uh, materials from, uh, from time capsules, which I will show you in just a bit. So as you can see, if you go to the marketplace, you can see the iridescent material is there. It's 900 market cash, so it's a little bit more expensive than the, the silver, gold, and bronze material. Like for the silver, gold, and bronze, you had the three materials for 20 bucks. Here, you you have one material for 10 bucks. Uh, it's 900 point market cash because I'm a, I'm a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, it's going to be 1,000 market cash, basically $10. So if you want to have more materials added to the marketplace, as opposed to being added to time capsules, again, there's no miracle to it. You have to purchase those materials when they get added to the marketplace. I will show you uh, pretty much all the other materials I will show you come from uh, time capsules. Uh, the exception to that is the cosmic material, which uh, sadly came in booster bundles, and it's no longer available uh, right now. But before I show you the materials that you can get in the time capsules, uh, let's let's take a look at the stealth material. This is a material that you can get from the Quarks vendor. Uh, there's there's a, han a handful of materials. Actually, there's a lot more now than, than that. Uh, there's a few materials that you can get from the Quarks vendor. We're going to take a look at that in just a second. But here you can see the, the stealth material. Uh, basically, if you just put everything in one uh, shade, in one material, it pretty much creates a sadly a monochromatic uh, character. And you can see we still have the, the visual effects of the, of the rockets, even though we have the material. It's not always the case, though I seem to recall. Uh, sometimes we, we do have certain pieces of gear that have special effects, and we keep the special effects even if we put in a material. And there's other pieces of gear that uh, loses those effects, it would seem, once we apply a material. Uh, it, it seems to be a case-by-case -case, uh, basis. And where, or oh, where can you get the stealth material? You can get it from the Quarks vendor. It's been a while, so let's uh, take a look at the price. So you can see it's uh, 5,129 Quarks, so it is pretty pricey. Uh, there's also the opalescent uh, material, and there's a blue smoke material as well. Uh, sadly, so far, I was only able to purchase the stealth material. Uh, right now, I'm saving, uh, I'm saving my quarks for the resplendent cash. Uh, sadly, I spent uh, a few quarks to purchase a few uh, power set aura boxes, so uh, it'll take me a while. Uh, like you can see, I have a, 3, 000, a little over 3,000 uh, quarks right now, so I'll need about twice as much before I can uh, purchase the resplendent cash. Uh, someday, maybe. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to start looking at materials that you can get from time capsules. Here we have the negative speed force material. Uh, basically, the negative speed force material, the cosmic material, and the void material are pretty much uh, the same material with a few key differences. In the case of the negative speed force material, you have those uh, lightning effects all over the material, as you can see. So those lightning effects are built into the material. Uh, sadly, apparently because of those lightning effects, we cannot change the color of the material. 
we can change the color of the void material and we can change the color of the cosmic material but somehow because of the the lightning effects we have for the the negative speed force material we cannot change the color of the material it's sad but that's how it is and where or where can you get the negative speed force material? Technically, the negative speed force material comes from T-Mod time capsules. You have to gather 12 collections in order to be able to, to get the material. So either you gather the 12 collections and you get the material, or you could always have the option to purchase the material straight from the broker. You can also purchase the collections straight from the broker. And also, I can already hear people asking where or where can you get the T-Mod time capsules. Uh, right now, you can only get the team uptime capsules from the broker. So either way, you have to purchase the either the material from the broker, you have to, to purchase the collections from the broker, or you have to purchase the team uptime capsules from the broker. I would strongly suggest, uh, if you're looking for the, the material, if you get the chance, just buy it straight from the, the broker, or buy the collection straight from the broker. If you buy if you if you buy team up time capsules, then you're gonna have to use stabilizers to open the team up time capsules, and it will require you a lot of team up time capsules before you can get the negative speed force material. Like I've seen people in the forums who said they've opened like uh, 200 uh, time capsules, and still they did not get all the collections to be able to get the material they wanted. So if you're lucky, maybe you could get the material with 100 time capsules. If you're not so lucky, you could end up you can end, you could end up opening two, 300 time capsules and still not have the material. So I would strongly suggest if you're looking for a very very specific material, just buy it from a broker. Yes, uh, buying the material from the broker can be really expensive and game cash. But and so you're going to have to farm and farm and farm quite a lot in order to be able to have the cash you need to be able to, to purchase the material or to purchase the collections for the material. But sadly, uh, if you try to open time capsules to get the material, you are going to open a lot of time capsules. So it's going to get pretty expensive in actual cash. So either you're going to spend a lot of real cash to purchase the to open time capsules to get the material, or you're going to have to use a lot of game cash to actually buy it in the game. So you, you decide which one you prefer. And it's pretty much the same with pretty much all the materials that I'm going to show you afterwards. So everything I just mentioned about the, the negative speed force uh, material is pretty much true for all the other materials. Here we have the time-worn material. Uh, this is pretty much a blue version of the Phoenix material, technically. Although with the blue uh, and the blue and the white, uh, the white uh, highlights, it's really bright, as you can see, so I would strongly suggest not to use it all on one character. Here again, I showed a few pieces of style that actually show some skin in order to be able to show a bit the, the contrast. The time-worn material comes from the time-torn time capsule. So again, you're, you, you pretty much have to buy it from the broker. Yes, you could open a whole bunch of time time capsules but you have to purchase those time, those time capsules from the broker anyway and you're gonna have to open a lot of them if you hope to get the material so you, ideally you're going to want to just purchase the, either the material or the collections for the material straight from the broker again that's pretty much true for all the materials that you can get from time capsules yes you could open time capsules and be lucky and get the rare piece you need to be able to get the material but the odds of that happening are really slim. So if you if you don't want to open a whole bunch of time capsules, again, your better option, just, just buy the collections from the broker or just buy the material itself from the broker. I know people don't like it when I say that because usually that means they're farming for like a hundred millions, if not more, in order to be able to purchase the material you want. But it's by far a better option in order to be able to get the specific material that you want. Uh, sadly, I understand it makes it very difficult to get uh, to get all the materials for all your characters. So sadly, you're going to have to make choices. You're going to have to decide which material you get for which character. Because you're, you're going to have a hard time getting uh, the materials on multiple characters. Like, for example, this is the only character I have that has the speed force, the negative speed force material. And this is the only character I have that has the, the stealth material. And come to think of it, this is the only material, the, the only character I have that has a time-worn material. So in order to be able to take a look at the Phoenix material and the cosmic material, I'm going to have to switch to another character. So let's do that right now. 
And here we have the Phoenix material. If you've been watching my video for some time, you know that I'm using that material in a couple of my uh, Flash Armories. And combined with the, the cosmic material, it creates a pretty darn look good looking uh, Flash character, if you ask me. Of course, I should have used the negative Speed Force material. Uh, sadly, at the time, way back when, the negative Speed Force material did not really exist. So I used the, the Phoenix material and the cosmic material to create what I've labeled, uh, you can see it here, what I've labeled my cosmic Flash. We're going to take a look at the cosmic material uh, in a bit. And you can see the, the, the Phoenix material, uh, sadly the Phoenix material, again, because of some of the visual effects uh, it built into the material, you cannot change the colors of the material. So sadly the material is color locked to this uh, yellowish, orangish uh, color. Although, as you can see, it could work pretty darn well to recreate an evil, uh, evil cosmic type of uh, reverse flash character. And where, where can you get the Phoenix material? Technically, it comes from the Amazon time capsules. But again, your best bet is to play the broker, uh, gather all the cash you can, and eventually per just simply purchase it on the broker once you've managed to earn enough cash in order to be able to buy it. Uh, this is sadly my only character that has the Phoenix material. Uh, again, it's... Sadly, you have to make choices in this universe online. Some materials are very difficult to get by. So once you manage to get them, you have to decide which character do you give it to. And in this case, I've decided to use it on my Flash character. So again, if you can, if you can get lucky, open a whole bunch of Amazon time capsules and maybe you'll get the material. But odds are you're going to have to farm and farm and farm and uh, gather all your cash until you can either purchase the collections from the broker or until you can purchase the material itself from the broker. And last but not least, we have the cosmic material. Uh, sadly, the cosmic material c comes from a booster bundle, so it was only available for a very limited time. So right now, you have no choice. The only option you have in order to be able to get the cosmic material, you have to buy it from the broker. There's no, there's no escaping it. But luckily, the cosmic material is one of the materials that you can actually change the color if you want to. Like you can see, I was able to put the red, uh, to put red and yellow on my character, even though he's using the cosmic material everywhere. The cosmic material has to be my favorite material. Uh, the, the visual effects it gives to the character, I really enjoy it a lot. And I guess the fact that we can uh, change the color doesn't hurt as well. But I don't know, the, the way the colors work and the way we get the, the cosmic pattern on the colors, on the, the, the black of the costume, I think it looks uh, really, really nice. So as you can see, you can change the color of the material. It doesn't change the black part of the material because that's where that's what you need in order to be able to see the, the story field on the material. But it pretty much changed the, uh, the highlight, like the, pretty much the, the material is, has some uh, highlight, highlighted colors. So it pretty much changes the highlight of, of the material. Here you can see I changed uh, everything that was red, I, I changed it to blue. And everything that used to be yellow, I changed it to white. And you can see how it affected uh, the material. Sadly, as I mentioned, the only way you can get the cosmic material now is through is is on the broker. And sadly, it's been quite a while since we had the the, the booster bundle that had the cosmic material. So uh, it's going to be pretty rare that you see it on the broker. You you see it once in a while, but uh, sadly, there there probably isn't that many cosmic material left for sale. Uh, so. Odds are, once in a while, you have to play the broker quite a lot. Go to the broker every chance you get. Look up for the cosmic material. But be warned, it, it's pretty rare right now. So odds are, you're going to have to spend uh, 200 maybe $300 million in order to be able to buy it. Uh, sadly, as time goes by, the material gets even more and more rare. So unless they release a, a similar material from the, the marketplace at some point, uh, sadly, there's no real way to get the cosmic material right now other than to be lucky enough to be able to purchase it from the broker. 
So if you're lucky enough to see it on the broker, and if you somehow can afford it, buy it right away. So that is pretty much it for the various materials that I have and how you can get them. Uh, so basically the short answer is that either you can purchase some from a marketplace and those you cannot purchase from the marketplace, you have no choice, you have to buy them from the, the broker. It's pretty, pretty much that simple. Uh, if you want to know which collections you need for each material, look through my videos. Uh, I, have, I have basically a video for each material that I own. So you should be able to know, like in the case of the negative speed force material, look for my negative speed force video, and you should be able to see all the collections you need in order to be able to get the negative speed force material. And the same is true for the uh, the time torn material, for the the phoenix material, and uh, pretty much all the materials that I have. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comment section down below. I'll see what I can do about possibly answering your questions. And uh, that's pretty much it for now, guys. So as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.